Record. Hey, my name is Shannon Kringen, Goddess Kring. I live in Seattle, Washington, United States of United States of America or something. You do the math. Today, I decided to be all natural. I'm not wearing any makeup. As you know, we really value honesty and authenticity in the media these days. We really, really, really only allow people that are 100% honest and ethical and transparent. So I'm here to say I'm not wearing any makeup. I'm totally natural. In all truthfulness, it does feel good to let my hair grow out. I'm letting my hair grow out natural and it's turning silver and I like it. And to the person who made fun of my drumming, the joke's on you, buddy boy. I think we should roll around on the floor in our own saliva. And we should use your imagination. What else should we do? As I'm recording this, I live in Seattle and it's March 14th, 2021. The clear vision of 2020 is getting even more clear. And we all know what's true and what's false is completely obvious and completely clear. We know who we can trust and we know who we shouldn't listen to. And if not, there's people here to help us decide what we cannot and what we can listen to, and what ideas we're allowed to believe in, and what ideas we're not allowed to believe in, what we're allowed to do with our bodies, and what we're not allowed to do with our bodies. It's for our own good. We can trust certain people that are backed by millionaires and billionaires because we know they're only here to help us and protect us. It's totally, totally transparent and ethical and for the common good. Totally. Just like my makeup is natural. I'm not wearing any makeup. Well, maybe a little. I guess I'm wearing a little bit of makeup, but it's very subtle, don't you think? Don't you think my makeup is kind of subtle and it kind of looks natural and like I'm not wearing any makeup for women that I bought at the store with certain colors? that enhance the eyes, the lips, the nose, and the mouth, and the cheekbones, the birds and the bees and the flowers in the trees, bada boo, bada bing, stinging rings the cring, catch the wind song spiral drive, crack the code left and right node, I wander and I wander, tripping over sand dollars, moon haulers, key robbers, Enchanted lands, smoky hands, rough and cracked. Take this sand and stand alone, all one. I present the present, desert the desert. Exercise, bring, exorcism, cleanse. Shuka shuka, shuka shuka, shuka shuka. Do you shave your body hair off your body? Do you pluck your hair out of your skin? 
Do you wear makeup? Do you not wear makeup? Do you wear perfume? Do you not wear perfume? Do you spray chemicals or do you not spray chemicals to keep yourself clean? Are you dirty or clean? I am the goddess Kring. I can do anything. Maybe not, though. Maybe not, though. Am I an introvert? Am I an extrovert? Am I a left-handed only child? Am I a Scorpio earth monkey? I'm 52 years old and I can kick and stretch and kick. Can I? My ancestors are from Norway, Scotland, Sweden, England, a little bit of Native American Indian in my bloodstream DNA. But I don't really know much about my family history on either side. I think on my dad's side, we came here in the 1800s from Norway, and we were farmers in North or South Dakota. And then I think on my mom's side of the family, we came here to Canada to be bootleggers in the early 1900s, but I'm really not sure, from Ireland. I think my mom's side mostly came from Ireland. My dad's side mostly came from Norway. There's times when I wish my ancestors had stayed in Europe, but then again, no place is perfect. There's no place like home. There's no place like home. There's no place like home. I recently painted some slippers green because I don't want ruby slippers. I want emerald slippers because I love green. I'll get you my pretty and your video camera too. Thanks, grandmother, mother of my mother, power ripper, power tripper. Thanks, grandmother, mother of my mother, power tripper, soul ripper. I used to be a stripper. Seriously. In the early 1990s, I worked at the Lusty Lady, and my dance name was Jade. After Mick Jagger's daughter, Jade Jagger. I love Mick Jagger. The first rock concert I ever went to was the Rolling Stones in 1981 in Seattle at the Kingdom before they tore it down. And my last concert of my lifetime, it seems, because they're changing the rules and I don't want the... in order to see the rock and roll concert. Plus it's so expensive. Why would I want to spend one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine hundred, a thousand dollars just to see rock and roll live. I got to see Tori Amos and Tom Petty who widens my jetty and the Rolling Stones. So my first concert was 1981 Rolling Stones. And my last concert in this lifetime might be Rolling Stones 2000, what was it, 19 or 18? They came to Seattle in August of, I can't remember if it was 2018 or 2019, but I saw them and it was an amazing show, as was Tori Amos and Tom Petty. Mick Jagger struts in, his dagger grabs me. Tori Amos doesn't blame us, but names us. Neil Young washes away the fertile dung. And Tom Petty widens my jetty. Goddess Kring, let it seep from deep within, blah, 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 blah. I forgot the rest of my poem. For people who make fun of me, go ahead, make fun of me. <laughs> Virtue signal, cancel culture this. Virtue signal, cancel culture. What's the other term? Virtual, virtual, let's see, cancel culture, virtual signal. I guess just shaming, guilt tripping, fear mongering, and shaming. We all know how good it is to virtue signal 
and fear monger and shame and guilt trip people. We know that's good and it's really good for our mental health and our physical health. Obviously, I'm being sarcastic. Thanks for listening. This is Shannon Kringit in Seattle. All natural, free range human being. <laughs>